Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade a alt space kit uh, to 2020.3.9 and uh, using the uh, Unity 2.x uploader. Okay, so first thing you probably do want to do is uh, open up Unity Hub and um, find the project. So I've got my project open already. Here it is. Uh, you can tell it's already 2020.3. Dot nine because I updated before, but if it wasn't, um, what you would do is you would uh, you would see something like this, um, and you would see that oh hey it doesn't have the right version, select the version and choose that. Okay, so uh, now that it's on 2020.3.9, we want to get the latest version of the uh, alt space uploader. So you can see this one is old. We're gonna close that, and uh, oops. We're going to use the package manager. So the package manager is like a new way that everything is uh, um, uh, installed in, in Unity these days. So if you open it up, uh, it'll take a second to load. And so the pack package manager is used for doing things like installing third-party um, software, like in this case, Altspace. You can also, if you choose here, um, you can see all the assets that you've purchased and you can update that. Um, so we want to start here. We want to start by removing the old one. So you select it and then you remove. Uh, and uh, sometimes this might take a little while. Honestly, Unity's UI, when you click stuff, things don't always immediately happen. It's not super snappy. So uh, if you don't see anything happen for like 10, 20 seconds, just wait, you know, give it some time to, uh, to think. So here, what it's doing is removing. Uh, okay, now it's gone. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to click this plus button, add package from tarball, and uh, go to wherever you uh, download the latest uploader. So important thing here, you need uh, at least 2.2.2. That's when kind of auto updates started working. Okay, see, like nothing's happening, but in a second it'll pop up because <laughs> the UI is uh, uh, questionable. Wow, more than a few seconds, I guess. Uh, well, you know, while it's happening, um, even after it starts, it'll take some time. What it's doing is it is setting up your project to get ready for uploading to Altspace and for um, the Universal Render Pipeline or URP. So stuff is happening in background. Just give it time to kind of do its thing. Uh, when it's done, uh, you'll know, and what you'll see is the new up here, you'll see the alt space um, menu show up. Um, yeah, also if you see some something called multiplayer HLPI, uh, I would delete that from this list. That's like a legacy thing. Um, some people have it, some people don't. If you have it, it'll cause problems, so remove that. Uh, another thing is if you have really old version of the uploader, you'll actually have the uploader inside your assets folder. Um, then you want to go into like uh, your prefabs folder and make sure like there's no readme file here or test folder um, and there's no plugins folder. You want to remove all of those. Okay, looks like it is done doing its thing, so we're going to close that. Uh, we're going to uh, do kits because we're uploading kits here. And the first time you open it, it'll actually do some processing as well, so give it, give it some time. Okay, and while it's doing that, I also want to uh, tell you about this console tab. Console.tab is where all the errors happen. Errors are red. Um, uh, those are the ones you want to watch out for. For things that are yellow, those are warnings, and then white is kind of info. So here, there's like all, kind, all kinds of stuff. Mm, who knows what, what that is? Let's just clear that. Uh, out of sight, out of mind. All right, so first thing we're going to do is here we're going to sign in. Uh, we're going to do... All right. So here we go. Here's a new interface. Um, well, first thing you'll notice is that um, there's probably going to be pink stuff. Pink stuff means um, 
uh, some shaders or materials uh, need to be tweaked. So what we're going to do here is uh, first thing I'll do is take a look at, um, oh, don't do advanced, <laughs> keep it simple. So pay attention to the version here. Uh, if your uploader needs to be uploaded, uh, updated to the latest version, it'll be, it'll, there'll be a red message here and you just have to click the um, update button. Okay. Um, here we see that uh, I'm trying to upload to this thing called Altspace Coasters. And you can't see the coasters here, but uh, we'll, we'll get that working. Um, first thing you want to do is go into the edit menu, render pipeline, universal render pipeline, URP, and then upgrade project materials. And it asks us a warning. Yes, what we want to do is have it try to um, update everything. Oh, so some of it worked. So you can see the coasters. Not sure what's going on with the cube. So uh, the cube is just a test thing. It's not really part of the thing. So we're good. <laughs> You've got the kit items here. Okay. All right. So I think uh, we should be okay. We've got the kit chosen. Um, we've got the existing prefabs there. Um, and for testing, we want to just use Windows and let's give it a try. Build and upload. Also note for uh, version 2.2.2 uh, and above, we have a new way of uploading file, the, uh, the zip files that get generated. So it should be more robust. Um, and also as this is happening, as it's building, you'll see updates here, but when it's update uploading, you'll see status updates here. Um, before we didn't have any st uh, progress bars or anything for uploading, uh, but it's going to be here now. So here in the bottom right, you'll see uh, there's the upload bar and you can see this thing spinning. Looks like, oh, quickly, it was quickly popped here. But what you want to see is like there's this checkbox. Um, and the way to verify that something's working is if you go to the kit, uh, go to the kit on the website. And if you scroll down to your uploads, you will see that um, what you what you are looking for is 2020.3. In this case, I just did PC and SPI and linear, right? So you can see that the old set of this is PC. This, this is the old set of stuff. And then this is even older stuff. The reason why there's three sets is um, 2019 is the older stuff, um, uh, Unity 2019. That's been, that was a couple of years back. And um, uh, and that's the kind of uh, version we're upgrading from. from. We're upgrading to 2020.3.9. Uh, the gamma stuff is the stuff we did like kind of the first part of the upgrade. What you're looking for is linear. So this indeed worked as far as the uploads are concerned. So that's really good. If you can get to here, you're in really good shape. Um, and then, uh, then we will test it in alt space. But before we do that, let's just go back and, uh, okay, let's, let's pretend you went into the alt space and you tested it. If it's good, we would go back to the project, check the rest of them and do it one more time. If you check multiple, it will do it all together. And, um, when it's done, you will see the results here. Okay, so what are some problems that uh, you can see? Um, sometimes the automatic conversion of the shaders don't work. In that case, um, what I sometimes do is I go into the, uh, the asset store, find the assets that I bought or wherever I got them, um, and I try to get an updated version. Sometimes it may not uh, you know, automatically do it. You might have to contact the creator or, or, or the seller of the assets. Um, worst case, what you'll have to do is replace the shader with um, another shader. And um, uh, I'm not going to get into that here, but uh, get on to the Altspace Discord uh, and people will be able to help you. And that is at alt, a -L -T -R, uh, altvr.com slash discord. All right, I think we're almost done here. Um, since this is just an upgrade video, I won't get into how to create a kit. Um, there's a, there'll be a guide in the description that I'll link to uh, for the kind of very detailed process of how to upload a kit or a template. Um, anything else for the upgrade?
Um, yeah, um, basically, you should try to stick to the um, um, the basic version. The advanced version gives you all these other options, and there's a bunch of other stuff. But I would keep it simple. Try to end. Um, if you have problems, start with something basic first. Oh, okay, so we've got uh, check mark there, and if we go back to the template or uh, the the kit here, let's refresh. And voila, so this is what I would want to see. I want to see uh, linear and Android and SPV right there. I want to see Mac and linear. Linear is the key thing here. Linear um, signals to uh, the Allspace client. And this is uh, uh, 2020.3.9 with the URP, the universal render pipeline. Okay, awesome. Um, and uh, that's it for today. That's how you upgrade your stuff. Oh, also one final thing. If you are testing your upgraded stuff, um, you will, for uploads with linear in it, you will only be able to see it in a preview build. A preview build is um, something that is lets you see what will happen when we make the switch over on September 15th. Um, the preview builds, you can look at in the announcements section. They're linked here. Um, and they're different for every platform. Um, so until uh, September 15th, people in the retail clients, the retail versions of the Allspace client, will not be able to see your changes. But you need to get ready and upgrade everything ahead of time because on September 15th, everything not upgraded will not be accessible. Great. Thanks, everybody, and happy upgrading.